In this video, we're going to go over how to add an IP camera to your D1 DVR software interface. Uh, let's say, for instance, you have uh, the D1 DVR uh, at your home and you have an IP camera in a remote location and you've, you've viewed our other video that explains how to set that camera up uh, at the remote location and it's connected to the internet. You can view the footage uh, you can view that IP camera's footage on the DVR that you have at home. So you're essentially, uh, you, 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 you have the capability of, view, of adding a camera that's in a remote location to the interface that you have uh, in front of you when you're sitting in front of the D1 DVR itself. Uh, so the first thing you do, and keep in mind we're running version 6.37, and this is what the interface is going to look like in 6.37 and later um, you would access the IP camera uh, the, the, the section of the interface where you you add the IP camera you would go to menu and then choose add slash delete IP camera in older versions uh, you'd actually have to click on the options button there, there's no options button here in version 637 but uh, previous versions there'd be an options button that you would press to get this add delete IP camera so go ahead and select that and then you'll get this IP camera device list and what you need to do to add an IP camera is click the add cam button here and what you need to do you can name the camera uh, the one that we have is is a box camera so I'm just gonna call it box IP camera then you enter the IP address you don't enter the HTTP or anything you just enter the the IP address by itself uh, the connect port uh, for ours is 8000 the username is always admin the login user ID I should say is always admin and the password for ours is one two three four five and I'm gonna click OK and if if the camera is set up properly and the DVR software is able to connect to it remotely under connect status you'll see connect OK and that means that the software connected to the camera and once we click save you'll get the footage streaming from the camera to your DVR uh, if for some reason you don't get that connect OK message, it means that you'll have to go back and make sure that you set the camera up properly. And that's it. Right now you have access to the camera with any other camera that you have connected locally to the DVR. And uh, it's indistinguishable from the other ones, even though it could be in a location on the other side of the world. And that concludes this tutorial.